Good morning, friends and family. We're gonna start today moving the chickens. They've been here longer than we usually leave the chickens in one place because we've just been going really hard at the yurt. But now things have calmed down a little bit. Time to move them. We're gonna move them over by where our baby chicks are on that side. Ooh, and the sun is just starting to come out. It's gonna be a beautiful day, sunny and 78 degrees, perfect. And James is fired up to cut wood. So we'll do that after we're done with the chickens. James, what are you doing, bud? Chopping wood. Chopping wood. Coming out onto the new pasture. Oh, they look so pretty in the flowers. Gandalf, you look so pretty with daisies. Yeah, happy chickens. Flower chickens. Jeffy got the chickens nighttime coop moved. The chickens are doing really great out here. They're happy. Mm-hmm. They are happy chickens. Oh, the adults and the babies are kind of checking each other out over there. James found his favorite chicken, Miss Becky. All the babies run. Babies. Come on, get it. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy birds. You turn. Tell me when. Yep. All right, you ready? Let's find you something to chop. Hold on, that's what you chop on. Pretty nice. You gonna give it a chop? Good one. Hammer, hammer mode. Hammer mode, hammer mode. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you got it. Here, you pull. Yeah. Put your, put this down. Grab that part with your hands, and we're gonna pull it apart. You ready? One, two, three, Arrgh! and then you flex. Okay. Up here in the second I saw it, it come crawling up, clawing up my <laughs> leg. His little tongue. Is his tongue sticking out? Oh. oh, there's two. Yeah, they're both here now. Oh. They just cuddled up. I can only <laughs> see the top one. That's funny. They just mold together. <laughs> Yeah, they're cute how they just walk. Good morning. Nah, nah. Today's project, we want to put in a little garden. Nothing huge, nothing like our long-term <laughs> plans for a garden, but something small. It's mid-June, you know, this is our last chance to get a little bit of a summer garden in. So we're gonna do something over there. This is right where I, Jacob and I had dug out two big stumps. You can see all that cable. A lot of people had asked about this cable. So I'm assuming it was associated with logging many years ago and it was buried and caught up in this area, including underneath those big trees. So those were big 30, 40 plus year old trees and the cable was completely under them in the root ball. And the cable continues, we're looking downhill this direction, and the cable continues underground all the way down there to kind of that skid road. So right now I'm gonna get the rest of the cable out with the excavator, kind of clean up what's left of digging around here with the goal of leaving some nice topsoil right over there to make a little garden. So one of the big stumps is right here. I'll have to work it down the hill. 
This really big log is one we want to save to try to mill. It was from one of these two big trees that made the stumps. And um, we had the chain hooked up, but the tractor couldn't pull that big log. So we'll move the log, the stump, and work our way down here and get the rest of that cable. cable now I just got to figure out you know how to scrap this stuff it'd take a torch to cut it up but I'll have to ask around see if if scrappers come around and pick something up like this because it's worth their time to come get it we'll see and now we laid out some soil to try uh, a uh, tiny little garden patch for our first garden out here too so that'll be fun Really happy with how the excavator did. It's a little tricky going up slopes with it. It was awkward moving the cable around, but I'm glad it's done. Okay, we've got our spot in mind for the garden, and um, we remembered that we bought some compost from a horse and goat ranch nearby. It's actually a co-worker of Tina's, and we're going to go buy a truck bed full of it and bring it back just to kind of kickstart the fertility of that garden spot we're setting up. Here we go! Yeah. Woo -woo -woo.
we're gonna set up this fence around the perimeter to try to discourage deer. <laughs> Is it deer proof? No, but you know we I think if you make a small enough of an area where it feels awkward for the deer to jump in, it can kind of work. So that's what our goal will be. Um, we've, we've had it protecting our baby plants in the pots for a few days and it seems to be working because before we had it up, the deer really came and chewed the leaves off of some of the baby trees, chewed the leaves off of some of the stuff like the, there's some ginger over there that they just took all the leaves off. So we'll try to protect it. So what we've got in here, we've got some young trees. Back in February we did some, we went to a plant propagation fair and got some fruit trees. And some of them are still going. Some of the, there's a few pears, there's a peach. We've got some apples, one from the fair and a few from the property we rented. There was a nice apple tree and we were able to propagate some off of that. We've got a few baby walnut trees. And then some assorted stuff like comfrey, ginger, walking onions. Oh, the, a couple of the figs are still going. Those little guys in there, they're looking great. We're excited about that. Some baby oak trees, just miscellaneous stuff. And some of these things, like the onions, we can plant into these beds. Otherwise, we'll do, we'll do a summer garden. Things, we'll try things like tomatoes um, right away. It's a, I don't know if it's a little late for Oregon to be planting them or right on time. We'll give it a shot. Might be better instead of starting from seed to find some seedlings that are already getting fairly big and ready for this nice warm weather now. Alright, it's the next morning and we're gonna plant the garden some. We're gonna direct seed some stuff. We're gonna transplant some of those pots. And probably tomorrow we'll go buy some seedlings. Tina saw somebody's locally selling Dad, stuff like tomatoes and peppers. We're, we're rodent. Let's plant some stuff. <laughs> All right, that's it for gardening today. We direct seeded some pumpkin, spinach, lettuce, beets, radish, carrots, and some assorted flowers. And then we transplanted some comfrey, that's you. Uh, some green onions, one rosemary. That's all we transplanted for now. We're not gonna transplant any of our little trees or bushes or anything. They're it's just kind of a very temporary garden. We've got to figure out the overall design for fruit trees and stuff, and we'll need better fencing to keep deer out of it. Maybe a dog to bark at the deer. <laughs> so what are we going to do Can next? We need to buy we need to buy a few more hoses to be able to water all the way over here and tomorrow we're going to go buy some plant starts like tomatoes and peppers and we've got room to add that stuff here too. Mm -hmm. And that's it. We'll hopefully keep the deer out of here. Oh what do you think? Dear. Was that fun planting the garden? Uh -huh. Oh, my feet, my hands got so dirty. Dirty hands. Green onion. Green onion, dirty hands. <laughs> All right, that's it. Bye, bye, bye.